Hello, my name is Dr. Ben. I want to show you a few things that you can do today to give yourself a little bit of relief from some foot pain. So one of the things that you're gonna to need to do this is a ball. It doesn't matter what kind of ball, it can be as hard or as soft as you want. I've got a therapy ball or a tune-up fitness ball here. You can use a lacrosse ball. You could probably use a golf ball, a baseball, a street hockey ball. You can use whatever you want. The only thing is you probably don't want it to be too soft. If it's too soft, it's not gonna dig in the way that we want. Our feet are used to supporting our entire body weight throughout our day. So you're gonna want something that can dig in a little bit. But what you're gonna do once you have that ball is you're just gonna use it on the bottom of your feet. So the place that we're gonna put it right in the bottom of our feet to start is gonna be right in the middle of our foot. So we're gonna start by just simply rolling straight front to back from the ball of our foot all the way until the heel. It doesn't have to go right on the heel, but just in front of that heel. If you've had plantar fasciitis before and there's a tender spot in there, don't roll over it. If you have heel spurs and they're tender to roll over, just avoid them and get onto the rest of the foot. So we're gonna do 20 to 30 repetitions of just straight front to back with whatever ball you've got. Let's start that right now. And you can roll around a little bit on the bottom of your foot, move a little bit towards the inside. It'll be a little more tender for a lot of people towards the inside once you get up into the arch of your foot. And you can move a little more towards the outside as well. Explore the entire bottom of your foot. Good, so we've done 20 to 30 reps there. Let's just switch sides and do the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna to wanna to lean forward, get a little bit of pressure into it, and do 20 to 30 repetitions where we're going front to back on the other side. Start that now. Good. We've got about 20 to 30 there. Once you're done with that, that's all we're gonna need the ball for for today. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is get into a position where you can hold on to your foot. For most people, it's gonna be with a leg up. If you can get it really far up, great, but if you can even just get it to the top of the other leg, that's gonna help us out a lot. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take our big toe and we are gonna pull it a little bit towards the inside of our foot, just a few times, and then we're gonna pull it down towards the bottom of our foot. I don't want you compressing, I want you kind of pulling, so as if you're pulling your toe out, and towards the bottom, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull it up towards our shin. Once we've done that, just kind of gone around the clock, pulling it a few times in every direction that we've got. I want you to do the same thing with the rest of your toes. You're gonna to grab the rest of your toes, and you're gonna pull them up towards your shin, towards the top of your foot a few times. You're gonna grab them and you're gonna curl them underneath your foot a few times, and you're gonna kind of splay them apart as if you're trying to spread them away from each other and do that a few times. So let's switch over to the other side, try the same thing over there. We're gonna take our big toe and we're gonna pull it out a little bit. We're gonna pull it down towards the bottom of our foot. We're gonna pull it up towards our face or towards the arch of our foot and mobilize it in there. We're gonna pull it up towards our shin or the top of our foot. Some people will have a little bit of tightness in all these directions, some people in just a few of them. And then we're gonna pull it across our foot. We don't need to spend too much time doing that. Usually our footwear does that for us. Now we're gonna grab onto the rest of our toes. We're gonna to pull them up towards the top of our foot, which is gonna make them also fold a little bit towards the arch, depending on where the fold in your foot is. And then we're gonna pull them down as a unit towards the bottom of our foot. and then we're gonna spread them away from each other a little bit. So we're gonna be taking them and pulling in all sorts of different directions like this. Good. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use the floor for some leverage. So all I want you to do this time is I actually want you to go on top of your foot and you're gonna tuck your foot underneath you. So you're gonna have your foot like this and all I want you to try to do is to essentially use the floor to push the top of your foot this way to try to get this as close to flat as possible. Just be warned, some people their feet will actually cramp a little bit on the bottom. If that's you, just undo the stretch and come straight back out again. So you're gonna take your foot, you're gonna tuck it underneath you, 
and you're just gonna let it hang out there for a few minutes. And you might even wanna let your ankle wobble a little bit side to side as you go. And if you find it's a little bit uncomfortable, you can try putting your leg a little further back, or you can even come a little further forward where you'll get a little more stretch out of your toes. And then we're gonna switch over to the other side. So you're gonna tuck this foot up underneath you and you're gonna take the top of your ankle and push it towards the floor. And you can change positions a little bit depending on what you wanna stretch in the top of your foot. Or you can come forward and you can get a little bit more out of the toes. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our foot back in this position, the same side that your leg is up, you're gonna take the hand and you're gonna pull it over top of your toes, and then the other hand, you're gonna take your heel and you're gonna shove straight down like that. So you're pulling with this hand up towards your knee, you're pushing with this hand down and away from you. So we're taking our foot and we're pushing like this. So the more you can get your toes on your palm, the better, and if you can get your hand, uh, your thumb and your first finger hooked around your heel, that's gonna be even better. So we're gonna pull up about 10 to, 10 to 15 times, and then we're gonna switch sides. Give that a try now. And as you may have noticed, you can put a good amount of force into this. It usually should feel nothing but better if you can push a little harder. Good, so let's switch sides. You can do the same thing on the other side. The side that the leg is up, you're gonna use that hand, reach around underneath to the ball of your foot. You're gonna take the other hand and push away on the top of your heel. You're gonna do 10 to 12 pulls like that. Give that a try right now. Good. So that's just a list of a couple of things that you can do to try to give yourself a little bit of relief from some foot pain, some discomfort, um, and maybe a little bit of joint achiness in there as well. There's a lot of other things that you can do on a daily basis that are gonna hopefully make your feet feel a little bit better. If you got a little bit of relief from this, great. Feel free to use it absolutely every single day and anytime you need some relief. There's also some other things that you could check out that we've made. We've got some ankle courses, we've got some foot courses. I'd encourage you to go check those out if you're looking for more. Take care.